All right, folks, this is the unboxing of the Golden Eagle heavy duty four wheel scooter. Again, the Golden Eagle four wheel heavy duty scooter unboxing. So folks, when you get this scooter, it's a large scooter. So look at, look how big this is. So you're, you're gonna need some help, okay? But let's just see how we can unbox it. This is my first time over here doing this. So you'll need a knife, cut the straps off. Okay, so we've got the straps cut off. I think this will just pull off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the garbage on this side. And now we've got the bottom piece. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do here so you can see me do it I'm going to cut this box open right here. So you can see it. Actually, you can see that it comes apart. Make sure when you take it apart like that, right here, there's a bunch of staples right here all along the top. You do not hurt yourself. There's a bunch of staples there. So now, as you can see, this is what I'm looking at in the box. So probably the first thing I would do is take the seat out because it looks like it's just going to come out and we're going to put the seat down over here like this nice big nice big seat and you can see the arms are right here for the seat we're going to get rid of this foam here and now we've got The basket and the headrest, so you can see the basket and the headrest is here. Basket and headrest. I'm going to pull this plastic off. Beautiful scooter. So now, let me cut this off. Just be careful when you cut stuff off, you don't damage, you don't scratch the scooter. I'm gonna unwrap the tiller, this is called the tiller. Piece of foam, piece of foam here, and we have under here something. So this would be, I would pull this out. This is the uh, This is the uh, waterproof container for the back. Wow, really nice. It's not just a really nice one. I'm gonna put that over here. So the reason I was taking that out is I wanna, I want to pull the tiller up, but you can't just pull the tiller up. So that's why I try, you need to get this out. There's a little handle right here, okay? If I push it, forward there you go right here's the handle you, right now if I push it down I can bring it down if I push it down I can bring it back up okay all right so now you've got the scooter right there <clears throat> so let's see there is box under the scooter so <clears throat> At this point, you would need two people because you can see the scooter is wedged. The wheels are wedged in this, in this box right here. So the scooter has to be slid sideways 
So it really takes two strong people to do that. So this time, I'm gonna go get some help and we'll be right back after we have the scooter off of here. So it definitely takes two people. We just slid it off sideways off the pallet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna clear everything off of here so we can do a demonstration of all the parts, how to put the scooter together. All right, welcome back folks. We had everything, to, <laughs> there's a lot of garbage we had to get rid of, but here's what, the, here's what we got left, okay? You're gonna have your, <clears throat> you're gonna have your large seat right here. And you have your two arms for your seat. You're gonna have your headrest, your basket, and right here is your rear basket. I've already slid in the pole that's under there. You'll see for yourself, it's real easy to slide in. Here are your keys for your scooter. So I'm gonna open this up. These, this, these are the keys for your scooter and your rear basket. So if you open the rear basket right here, in the rear basket, you will have your mirrors, your phone holder, your charger and your owner's manual in the basket. I've already unwrapped most of these so you could see what's in the basket. It'll be all wrapped up. I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the keys. Now, the keys to the scooter are right here, okay? These are the keys to the scooter. These are the keys for the basket, okay? So I'm gonna put the owner's manual behind in the pouch in the back of the seat. I'm gonna take the, the keys of the scooter and put them in the scooter and turn the key on. Okay. Okay, so that's that. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your scooter, before you put the seat on, I'm gonna put this over here. So before you put your seat on, one thing you need to do when you get your scooter, you need to open this up so this is on this just sits on velcro so if you pull it up like this and you can hear the front it's on velcro okay you need to pull this off okay and you need to put it over here like this don't put it upside down so you don't scratch it you need to check your batteries right here because they may not be connected so if this is shipped from the factory these two cables right here you can see plug right in here like this and this one over here the same way Check your batteries, make sure they're connected. If they're not connected, go ahead and connect them on because if you put the seat on, you do all that, and the batteries are not connected, you're gonna have a hard time, okay? The next thing you need to do, you have a seat post right here that comes with your scooter. This seat post has two holes, bottom and top, one inch apart. So you can adjust the seat one inch higher, one inch lower. So take the boat out, slide the seat post in here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in the lower hole, okay? So it sits down more. I'm gonna put the boat through there. Put this on there. This is a lock nut. So all you need is a 5 8 And then you just tighten it up real tight okay and as soon as the thing is not moving it's all tight make sure you tighten it all the way so there's no play in your seat then you will take your cover now when i pull this cover apart i dis i did disconnect there's one cable for the lights right here and there's one cable for the uh, re uh reset fuse so i disconnected that by the way i pulled it too hard i'm going to put that back on i'm going to drop the cover on Push it in place, sitting good. There's a little rubber tab here, a little rubber, little rubber uh, circle here. It goes around the pole right there. Okay, so now we're gonna turn our key on. Now, why is it beeping? Okay, you can hear beep, oh, you see this right here, folks? So if you get your scooter and the key is up and you're able to roll it like this, that means it's in neutral. Right over here, there's a red handle where my hand is. Push the red handle down, that puts the motor in gear. Now we're gonna turn the key on. No more beeping. And you can see now the scooter moves on its own power. So now we've got that done. We're gonna take the front basket. That's pretty simple. 
And I like the way this mounts on here very easily and it's not gonna come off if you carry your scooter on the lift. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna fold the seat down and I'm gonna tip it back so I can see what I'm doing. Be careful, this seat is about 40 pounds so you might have to have two people so you don't drop it on the red plastic and scratch your scooter. The seat is on. Okay. And you notice how the seat still swivels? Okay. And we have Okay. There's a safety belt under the seat which I did not see. If you look over here, you can see the safety belt is here. I'm going to unsnap it. It's wrapped around the pole. I'm going to take this little plastic off. So the safety belt is off. We're going to start over with the safety belt out of the way. We're going to drop this right on here. And you notice it still moves, okay? On these golden scooter, I'm pretty sure that when you put the seat on, you have to hold it up and push the level forward, the lever right here, push it forward and then drop it down and now we're locked. So if it keeps swiveling, raise it up, push the level forward and then drop it down the last two, the last two pieces and you're good. Alright, so we've got the safety belt that I told you earlier that was stuck. I'm going to take that safety belt for now and stick it in the back pouch, in the back pouch of the chair. And this one I'm going to put on the seat, it's not long enough. I'm going to flip the seat back, there's a lever right here, pull it back. It's a nice high back on this seat. Put this headrest on here, and you have different adjustments for the headrest. Okay, when you put the arms in, this one goes on the right side, but you notice the arm is not going in. Sorry about that, folks. So to put the arm in, you have to unscrew the knob right here to let the arm slide in. As soon as the knob is far enough away, there we go. Matter of fact, there's two knobs. So unscrew both knobs. You can bring the arms as far out as this, or you can bring them all the way in, like here. I like to bring them close to the seat, and then tighten them up real good and you have two knobs to keep the play out of the arm. So you have two arms to do one on each side. Same thing on this side, you'll unscrew the two knobs under the seat. And then tighten them both up really good. Now we've got the seat on. We've got the belt in the back pocket. Now we're going to take your, uh, this is a sliding seat, so I want to show you this. Um, there's a lever right here in the bottom. If you push it up, you can slide the seat forward, okay? Now you can see the docking device is right there. This is where you would put your basket back here. Your, your, so you're going to have to take the cap off, this little receiver there, and then you will take this container you're gonna slide it in there again you're gonna have to loosen up the boat so it goes in there and then you're gonna tighten up the boat and when you tighten up the boat you have no more play so you have the keys right here again for the basket turn the key open the basket up you have your two mirrors, two mirrors right there, you have the charger, and you have the cell phone holder, okay? So the cell phone holder, um, you can't use both mirrors, so you're going to have to do away with one mirror. The mirrors, so let's just say you want to keep the cell phone holder on this side, you would have to have a bolt for this side for the cell phone holder. It's probably in the box over there. So I'm just going to install one mirror. You just go right, you can see where the holes are at. Put the mirrors in, 
go all the way around until they're tight. There we go. And now we've got one mirror, and I think it's adjustable right here. So you can adjust the mirror up or down like this. And this mirror here, I don't think we can put it on if you're going to use the cell phone holder right here. So the cell phone holder, as you can see, works this way. Um, if you want to put the cell phone holder, you use the mirror and put the, the, the screw from the mirror through the cell phone holder first and then turn your mirror and tighten up everything. That's how you would do that. Hi folks, this is the unboxing of the Golden Eagle four-wheel heavy-duty scooter by Golden Technology. If you like the video and you would like to have one of these, give us a call. We'll be glad to ship one to your house. We have these in stock, so if you have any questions on this, on the unboxing, make sure you watch the video on how the scooter works, how the whole scooter functions, the tiller and all that, on our next video. Make sure you watch that, and thank you for following us. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.